In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the HDMI board out of this Onkyo receiver with model number TX-NR616. First thing I'm going to do is rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to remove the three screws on the side here. We'll rotate another 90 degrees. We have three screws on the top. Another 90 degrees, three more side screws. Now you should be able to just lift up the cover and then pull it out. We'll rotate again so the back is facing us. We have two screws here for our fan. Now the fan should now pull out, but there is a wire that's trapped with a zip tie. Now obviously be very careful when you're cutting the zip tie. You don't want to cut one of the wires. And now we can go ahead and unplug it. Now I'm going to rotate the unit one more time so I can have a better angle to show you. We'll go ahead and remove this wire over here. We'll just pull it out, wiggle. The ribbons, we'll go ahead and just pull out. And one more ribbon over here. There is an HDMI cable in here that is held by a screw, so we'll go ahead and remove that. This screw is unique, so we'll keep it apart. Now we can go ahead and remove the HDMI cable. Now to remove some of the wired cables here, we're gonna press down. I'm gonna use this tool to show you, but we're pressing down on the front of the wires and they come right out. So we'll do the same over here. And I'm gonna pull up. Same thing here, I'm gonna press down and then I can wiggle up. This one's giving me a little bit more of a hard time. Let me try to put pressure from behind as well. There we go. Now we'll rotate the unit one last time. And now we can tackle our screws on the back. We have one more hidden screw on the side here. And the last tricky part is right here, we have a plastic clip. So using my needle nose pliers, I'm gonna pinch it and lift the board. As you can see, the board is somewhat loose, but we have a couple clips here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and pull that board away as I wiggle our HDMI board out. And here we are. If you're interested in finding out exactly how we fix these HDMI boards, you can check out this video next. Otherwise, if you're interested in sending in this board for us to fix, we do offer flat rate services, which come with a one-year warranty. Those are available on our website, which will be linked in the description down below. If you found the video helpful or useful, leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.